So you might have heard of EasyColor DTV, or you bought it on an impulse and thought, what am I going to use this for? Well, look no further because I'm about to show you the five unique ways to use EasyColor DTV, and here we go. <laughs> Easy Color DTV is truly a remarkable product, and the best attribute is that you only need a home inkjet printer and Easy Color DTV to get rich, beautiful color that simply lasts. To start, we are going to use Easy Color by itself to create a custom clothing brand. With Easy Color being a print and cut product, we will need the following a home desktop printer, a cutting machine or home scissors, and your brand's logo. Send your design to your desktop printer. Now keep in mind that if you're using a cutting machine like a Romeo, Juliet, Cricut, or a Silhouette, that you are printing your design with your software's registration marks as we will need these for the cutting stuff. Next, load your Easy Color DTV onto a cutting mat and then into your cutting machine. Next, send your design to be cut but be sure to do a quick test cut before you get started to minimize the risk of ruining your material. After you have cut and weeded your design, you can now move on to the application. Now, if your design is in multiple pieces, then it's best to use the appropriate mask or transfer tape. And if your design is one solid contour, then simply peel off the design and place it onto your pre-pressed garment. Now, if you notice that your DTV design is curled, it can be corrected easily by placing the piece on a warm lower platen, and then the heat will actually cause the material to flatten out. Once your design is in place, apply your design at 305 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 seconds using either parchment paper or a Teflon cover sheet over your design. And just like that, we have created a custom full color shirt from home. But what are some other ways that we can use Easy Color DTV? Custom neck labels. Neck labels, custom neck labels. I'm gonna teach you about neck labels today. When it comes to t-shirts, most people today hate those scratchy neck tags, which is why a lot of our t-shirt brands now have Easy Tear tags. However, now this has left a huge brand building opportunity when creating a custom brand or clothing company. Oh, it's a scratchy neck label again. That's all I'm giving you for that one. <laughs> Bloop. Create a neck label with the essential items to your brand and the garment you are selling. This could be the t-shirt size, custom branding logo, or simply laundering information and anything that you deem important to your business. Inside your software of choice, import or upload a design for your custom neck label. Next, find your software contour or offset tool and increase the offset until there is a single contour line around your entire design. And if you don't have a home cutting system, you can simply print your neck label sheet without a cut line for a later step. Once you print your neck labels, you will then load this sheet onto your home cutting system and contour cut your design. As mentioned before, if you do not have a home cutting system, you can simply use a pair of scissors or a photo cutting tool uh, to cut out your neck labels in a more traditional shape. Once your artwork is printed, then cut, thread your shirt onto the corner of your heat press, exposing the inside of the neck tag. Place your design down and heat apply for 10 seconds. This is the quickest way to leave a long lasting impression with all of your brand essential information. Uh, DTV Embossed Method Globe Design. The Globe. The Embossed Method has been a showstopper and a great trick for creating faux embossed look using Caesar's Brick 600, an easy weed eco stretch material. Well, after its popularity skyrocketed, it left us to wonder how can we take this one step further? To achieve this full color embossed effect, the key is the artwork and having portions of the design being raised. Now filling your printed sheet with too much of one single color may affect the end results. For this method, you will need Easy Color DTV, Brick 600, a cutting machine, and a heat press. With your design imported into your software of choice, select the elements of the design that you would like to be raised to create the embossed effect. For this piece of artwork, I'm going to use the land of the globe to be the raised portions. With your raised portions of your design selected, find the contour tool. And unlike with other contours, we will not be creating an offset, but simply a copy of this shape or group of shapes. These new shapes will be our Brick 600 layer. Print and cut your design as shown before, then cut out the added Brick 600 layer, then weed out your designs. Start by pre-pressing your garment, then add the Brick layer first. 
and apply for eight seconds as we want it to release from the carrier sheet for this next step. Align your Easy Color DTV layer with the image being aligned with the appropriate brick layer, then quick tack your DTV layer down for about three to four seconds. To finish this, either use a pressing pillow or flip your design over and use the bottom platen of your heat press to apply your design for an additional 10 seconds. And just like that, you can make full color, dimensional designs fast and easy from home. Your at home DTF solution, people. The holidays seem to come with every company creating some variation of the same seasonal patterns. But what if you don't want to follow the herd and create a pattern that truly stands out? Well, Easy Color DTV does just that. Now, whether you have a favorite pattern maker or make custom patterns yourself, Easy Color DTV is the perfect heat transfer material to make that idea come to life. Now, this section is not really a show you each step of the process type of section, so it is a great time to talk about how you can get the best printed results using Easy Color DTV. It is important to remember that not all printers are alike. Each printer brand has its own proprietary operation, and this may affect some of the results when printing. And if your print is bleeding, then this is an indicator that your printer is applying too much ink to the material. And this can easily be corrected by lowering the print profile quality from a high to a standard, or even a plain paper setting if this doesn't correct the issue. And secondly, if your prints are faded, this can also be an indication that your printer standard profile needs to be adjusted to a high or even best quality. One of the absolute best things about heat transfer material is that it can go virtually anywhere, but there is one limitation that we don't always talk about. Seams. You see, when you heat apply a material like an Easy Weed, the product does not have a lot of flexibility to adhere to those small cavities of a seam on a garment. Well, with products like Easy Weed Eco Stretch and the all new Pure HT by Caesar, this is now easier to do with solid colors. With a full color design, this can require multiple layers of material and that can increase the weight and the thickness on the garment. Well, with the flexibility and the durability of Easy Color DTV, you can apply your designs to anywhere, and I mean anywhere on the garment. Seams, collars, and sleeves are now easier than ever to add a creative embellishment or a unique way to brand your business. As a pro tip, you should always use a pressing pillow when applying to a seam, and this will help to keep the entire garment on the same level to ensure that your pressure is even across your heat press. And with that, we end on another five unique ways to use Caesar material. And as always, please like, comment, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. And if you wanna know where you can find Caesar materials today, send us an email to info at caesarna.com. Well, until next time, bye everybody. Thank you.